Hello out there, all you wonderful and beautiful people in YouTube world. I'm Michelle, the Music Mom, and I'm so glad to be here today with you. Thank you for stopping by and listening and seeing what I have to share with you today. I'm in a collab collaboration. Boy, my mouth is just not moving very well, but I'm going to keep trying, okay? I can do it. Anyway, I'm in a collaboration that has been started by Spanky Cola, also known as Rhonda, and Transforming Melody. This collaboration has several other beautiful people listed below. Check them out. They will encourage you because they inspire me all the time. I bet you would like to know what this club is called since I didn't share it with you. It's called Wait is Enough. Today, I would like to share with you that this weight journey that I have been on for quite a bit of my adult life, about 28 years to tell you the truth, has been a long up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down. You get it. Roller coaster ride for a long, long time. But the good thing is, I'm not giving up. On this weight loss journey, there are so many trials and tribulations, so many good things, and so many, well, yeah, frustrating times. Today, I would like to share with you what this journey is about for me. It's about rechanging my mind, rechanging my spirit, and also my body. Today, I'm going to discuss only the body and the mind. Okay? I have been on this journey, this section of the journey, the last four years. And the last four years, I had done really, really well. I lost 90 pounds, and I was, oh, so close to my goal. And then things started to happen with my health. And I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Things will fix themselves. Yeah, they will. And they didn't. And so I started to gain weight. Some of it was because of my health issues. Well, and then other things were just because, well, I put things in my mouth. Yeah, it happens. Got lazy, didn't exercise, so forth. So that's part of the journey. It's frustrating, especially when you can't control your what's going on with your health. So I could control what was going on with my mind. So what I decided to do was rejoin Weight Watchers again in the last couple months. And yesterday was my weigh-in day. And I was trying to find every reason, excuse not to go. I don't know. Maybe you've been there. Maybe you haven't. Or whatever. If you are not on Weight Watchers, maybe it's something else. But I pulled up my big girl pants and I showed up. I accepted that I gained 0.2 pound, which isn't bad. And then I was glad I went because hearing these other people's stories is very motivating and very, very motivating to me and encouraging. And it also shows that I'm committed to myself, that I am on this journey no matter which way it turns. I am. So I'm really not focusing on my what's going in my mouth. I'm trying to, trying, some days not so good, to eat healthy and watch that. I'm also working on my exercise. I'm doing okay on that. My water intake, not so good. My Coke Zero, not good at all. And but when it comes to going and getting a doctor and checking out my health, I'm giving myself an A+. Plus. For some of you who know, I have no functioning thyroid. My thyroid was radiated, oh, probably about 15, 16 years ago. And the thyroid medicine is not working and not getting regulated. So I have found an endocrinologist. Yay! It is a little travel to go see the person, but I am content that this is gonna be a good thing. My doctor, who's actually a nurse practitioner, uh, suggested I also have some other tests done. 
So I'm going to have some tests done to see what in the world could be going on. I mean, who knows? And see if these things are affecting me. Well, not only is it affecting me as, you know, my weight journey, it's also affecting my, um, my disposition. Not a really pretty disposition right now. So, yeah. Is it premenopause only? Is it other things? So we'll find out. Whatever it may be. But I'm not giving up. Because part of the journey is figuring out, well, what in the world is going on? Is it your health? Is there something with your body that is not working correctly? If it's not working correctly, no matter how hard you try to do everything correct, your body may be counteracting what's going on. And so that's where I'm at right now. I am not giving up. I went to a Weight Watchers meeting and I'm gonna continue going to my Weight Watchers meetings because it's inspiring. I'm going to get my tests done. They will be done. Some of them will be done this week and some of them will be done uh, a little later. And then I'm also going to, uh, I have to, I only have a specific day that I can go see the endocrinologist. So when he can fit me in, that's when I'll go. So wish me luck on my getting healthy journey. It's not just a weight loss. It's, it's all of the package. Make sure my mind still stays in good, good condition. And don't beat myself up because there are some things I can't change but the things that I can change I'm going to it's gonna be a slow process because I've been so frustrated the last few years it, it sometimes it takes longer to get on that bicycle and start pedaling again and I think that's where I'm at right now maybe you have been in the same boat you can do it. Don't give up. It's a small process, small steps, and it's a process. It's a journey. So sometimes you just have to put your foot on that pedal, even though you're not ready to get both the other foot on. Foot on. Boy, not good with my talking today. Mm -mm. Maybe it's because I taught all day. Who knows? But you can do it. I'm going to do it. I know you can. It's always a struggle. But you're worth it. And I am too. So I'm here to support you. And give you thumbs up for whatever you're doing that's great. Sometimes being a gun ho person like me, I want to get everything done right now. All of it. At once. Sometimes I just have to realize it's a little step at a time and that's okay so I know a lot of you are doing this journey and you're doing a great job whatever you're doing you're continuing and that's important so keep up your hard work I am doing the same thing have a great rest of your week may the Lord bless and keep you and may his face shine down upon you until we meet again a wonderful week. Bye-bye.